when I had in my second platoon, I had the the officer that got fired, and I had the legendary officer take over, and he was super experienced. He was a prior senior chief. He was a prior senior chief, and he didn't put his he didn't he didn't tell us how to build pouts. He didn't tell us how to do anything. He asked us. He put us in charge. He was awesome. And and as soon as my LPO said to me, "Hey, why don't you go do your job?" I was like, "Man, that's what that's what." The best leader that I saw did. Mm-hmm. He did that for us, and I'm going to do that from now on. Good little lesson learned. Yeah. No. It was, uh, so, what was that deployment like? So, you're you're pretty early into Afghanistan. Yes. So what year was this? Like 2003. Yes. Uh, yeah. So it was it was it was early, but more importantly, again, everyone was focused on Iraq. So we were kind of a, a like a task unit light. So it was mainly a platoon with some supporting mm-hmm. people, some headshed guys. And we weren't really established yet in uh, kind of our, our operational sense. So we, uh, you know, we, we were just trying to find work. And we did a lot of special reconnaissance, a lot of driving around to Afghanistan. Mm-hmm. And uh, non-armored up Humvees and you know, with the doors off, it's, it was just too heavy. And um, so we did a lot of those missions. We did a couple of uh, direct action. Um, and it, it, was, it, was a, it was a good deployment. Again, I learned a, a ton. I was with really, really good people, and um, you know we had our issues just like like everything else. But it was a, a, a good learning experience from that. But the main leadership things and the o- OIC and I had a couple of words sometimes, and and it was I, again I think that because he told me there was a feeling that you know I kind of got lucky to be in this. And uh, I think he made a comment like, you know, guys, some guys really earned to be here. And I was thinking, what do you think I've been doing the last 12 years? <laughs> you know, all, all this, you know, when when I was in my first platoon, you were still riding your huffy bike uh, up and down the street. So, uh, yeah, I, I try not to take it personally. And, you know, it was, it was a lot of growing for me, mm-hmm. too, because, uh, again, it was, it, was, it was kind of a strange time. But, uh, you know, we, we came back from uh, that didn't didn't lose anybody and uh and it was it was a, a good first deployment to a combat zone because yeah. we got to shake a lot of stuff out and we weren't really driving like you know like uh, we were later or you know definitely what you guys were doing later yeah that that's a, such a nice gentle ramp up and i had that too uh like even even literally when i got to baghdad in my first deployment my the the sea who's a freaking like awesome guy. His wife used to say that me and him were soulmates, but we just got, always got along like brothers. And But he was already on the ground. And so we showed up and the night we showed up, he's like, hey, we're getting mortared from this area. Take your platoon out and go check it out. And so we're like, I'm like, okay, cool. And basically he just kind of made it up just to get us out there, shake out the whatevers, get, okay, look, you're in Iraq now, get over it, it's time. And then you came back and he's like, all right, cool. Now let's look, start looking at our first mission. But that's, and then that whole deployment was a nice ramp up of, of learning opportunities to learn. Going back to your point of like when someone says, you're lucky to be here. I was just talking about this on the academy, uh, training leaders and one, it's, such a good, and we actually just talked about this on the underground. Uh, just, just saying, like, yeah, yeah, I, I agree. A- and it's so disarming to people when you say, yeah, you know, I'm 100 percent lucky to be here. Absolutely. And I wish I had that advice. Well, we all wish. That's not what I said. We all wish we had that advice. You know, you're talking to the guy that was telling the instructor of our communications course that no, it's Zulu time. Zulu (laughs) is always Zulu. Zulu is always Zulu. I was 19 years old. That guy was what 35. He was a senior chief. Uh, He He was was definitely a chief. He's a chief. Yeah. Yeah. So he was a chief. So I'm telling a chief, hey, listen, chief. Let me tell you how it is, bro. <laughs> Jocko's got a word to put out, son. <laughs> so yeah, we all we all wish we could go back and maybe freaking check some stuff, but that's that's a good one. You know, like hey, when somebody tells you something, and well, you, it's like okay, yeah, absolutely. It's disarming. It's a good way to understand what their perspective is. It's a good move. It's a hard one to learn. It is. 